My name's Richard Judd, um, local resident, been up here about five years, um, and I'm the chair of the Leadgate Task Force, which is just a local community group looking to uh, make improvements to the village. Um, the wood for me, um, personally, it's a, a hidden asset really, um, and that is a good and a bad thing. Uh, for me, um, I enjoy coming in here and relaxing in here. It's quiet, even with the main roads on the sides of it. You hardly hear the traffic at all uh, with the bird song and the flowers and so forth can really um, improve your mood and improve my mental uh, wellness at that point when I've been through the woods. Um, and it's something I like to try and come through, either it's just walking uh, two or three times a week just to, to do that. And it's literally just over the road from where I live. Um, but the other thing about it being a hidden asset is that yes, there are people who actually do use the woods on a regular basis, your dog walkers and, um, and so forth. but for example, I went on, on a few health walks in the uh, village and even some of the people that have been living here for 30, 40 years hadn't even been in the woods. It is a hidden um, asset and a very lovely asset, but one of the things I'd like to try and do with the task force and others is to increase the usage of the, the woods, and that's across the ages. Uh, and one of the really, really positive things we've had in recent times is we've now got a forest school um, happening on a Tuesday night in here and it's just lovely to hear the kids actually playing in the woods just like I used to do when I was a youngster.